special aspects in implementing the project-based learning in Russian universities. Hello, this paper has been prepared by a group of authors participating in the annual conference on engineering education and the International Forum of AC. The authors represent a much larger team of teaching staff involved in the implementation of a large project on the basis of Kazan National Research Technological University, Russia. We would like to specially introduce the leaders of the project, Professor Vasily Ivanov from Kazan University and the visiting Professor Philip Sanger from Purdue University, the USA. Some words about where we are from. Kazan is the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan that is fairly known as the third capital of Russia. Kazan is located about 700 kilometers to the southeast from Moscow and approximately the same distance from the Urals. The Republic of Tatarstan is one of the leading regions in Russia. This is one of the important Russian regions in terms of oil mining and processing, as well as the center of many cultural and sports events and one of the popular travel destinations in Russia. Kazan is also a very important scientific and educational center of Russia. One of the oldest universities in the Volga region is Kazan National Research Technological University, abbreviated as KNRTU. It is also one of the largest educational establishments in the Volga region and the leading chemical engineering universities in Russia. In 2010, it was awarded the status of the National Research University. It was founded in 1890, and now it has 16 academic and research institutes, over 26,000 undergraduate and graduate students, 900 PhD students, and 100 postdoc students, over 300 full professors, doctors of science, and over 1,100 associate professors and PhDs. <coughs> One of the important activities and the sources of income of the university is continuous education, and this is exactly the activity headed by Professor Ivanov. Abstract. In the framework of activity approach in the system of higher engineering education, a special role is played by project planning as an innovative type of education that contributes to the formation of key competencies of future specialists and boosts the mental activity of students. This project became possible due to the support provided by the government of Tatarstan, namely the grant named Algorush, which means forward in the Tatar language. The program objective was training professionals that are able to successfully work in the area of vocational training using project-based based methods and collaborate both at national and international levels with globally leading companies and research and educational centers, as well as upgrading the skills of the teaching staff of higher educational institutions. Quality assurance and increased competitiveness of Russian education are ensured at Russian innovative universities through integrating them into the global educational environment and through using actual methods of teaching that have already proved efficient in the world. In the pictures on this slide, you can see the work within the project. It was not by chance that we started the project with Professor Sanger, since first, our region seriously needs highly qualified engineers in all areas of industry, and second, he has been collaborating with KNRTU for many years, and it was surely be the best solution to involve him now. The professor offered some modules to be included into the curricula, which have been successfully implemented. On this slide, you can see his modules in short. Here, you can see the project implemented under the guidance of Professor Sanger. 
Some titles may appear a bit difficult. Sorry for that. They will be explained below. The projects were developed by both bachelor level and master level students. We will describe some of them below. They are presented also in more details in our paper. <coughs> The most names of the projects speak for themselves. Students' Slang Dictionary. Communication without borders for people with disabilities. Teaching children to love nature and animals. Water jet cutting fire control unit. This needs some explanation. Project goals decreasing the impact of hazardous factors upon firefighters since the fire is handled from a safe position. Saving time due to the fast deployment of the firefighting system and to its functioning at the early stage of flame propagation, cooling and lowering the reactivity of hot gases providing the firefighting system a higher flow rate under high pressure, which results in evaporating most water used when contacted hot gases or hot surfaces, and improving the access to fire in closed spaces with limited availability, such as jacketed floors, walls, roof structures, attics, vent ducts, etc. Naushachketka. This is exactly something we mentioned above. The name of the product reflects its all components uh, of this product in the Russian language. This is why it looks and sounds a bit difficult. However, the product itself aroused the keen interest of some private enterprises. Website adapted for foreign students. This is how this website looks. Household Waste Compactor. The authoring ladies would surely purchase such a compactor as soon as it is available on the market. And this product would probably make happy everyone in the winter Russia. A heated scraping brush for snow or ice car cleaning. Outcomes and Prospects. First, the website for foreign students and the student slang dictionary aroused the interest of some ministries in Tatarstan. <coughs> Second, engineering products were offered to some startups and small businesses which are also interested in them and are going to sign contracts to manufacture them. And the last but not the least is the fact that the outcomes and the prospects of using a project-based method were represented in a study guide prepared by the teaching staff participating in our project. But there were also some difficulties. The most remarkable of them were that the first, our students are not accustomed to project-based format of learning. So they experienced some difficulties at the beginning and wanted some more theory. And second, the trainees from among teaching staff preferred to just practice their English rather than to really work on their projects. Features of applying the project-based method at KNRTU. One. It was also used at single exchange learning legal studies in English. Two, groups working on projects were composed of students majoring in the same field of education. Three, the project developed are intended to be used in both small businesses and social areas. And four, the paper outcome a co-authored study guide on the experiences of implementing the project-based method in KNRTU and on original proprietary technologies. For more details and questions, please go to the email shown on this slide. Thank you. <coughs>